Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the radiator cooling fan and the shroud from a Chevy Trailblazer. Now this is with the 5.3 liter V8. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get it in the garage and I'll start showing you how to do it. Now these are all the items that you'll need to complete this if you're following step by step the way that I'm doing it. You're going to need either a 24 inch adjustable wrench like I have here or you can use a 36 millimeter wrench because that's the size that you'll need to turn the um, clutch motor um, nut kind of that attaches to the water pump. I also have a three pound mallet in case you need to hit that to kind of break it loose. You are going to need a six inch C-clamp as I have here so that way you can get a, a grip on the water pump pulley to keep it stationary while you turn the fan. You'll need an adjustable set of pliers or needle nose pliers to remove the hose clamp to the radiator. You're going to need a T27 Torx bit to remove the air intake cleaning uh, piece that goes onto the top of the engine. Or as I have here, just inside of a, a screwdriver handle type of ratchet. You'll need a flathead screwdriver that you'll need to remove the hose clamps at the throttle body and mass airflow sensor, and then you will need a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts that hold the shroud around the fan. I'm going to start by disconnecting the negative battery cable here. We'll just set that off to the side. Starting here on top, you have this T27 Torx bolt holding the air cleaner on. So we're going to go ahead and remove that, and then we'll come around to do the, the two hose clamps at the mass airflow sensor and throttle body. And then we'll go ahead and do the one here at the throttle body. Now we can get to the fan to remove that. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this covering or shield for the radiator cooling fan. And to do so, it's held on. You have a 10 millimeter screw here on the driver's side. And if we come onto this side, right next to the radiator hose, you have another one right here. So we're going to remove those two. And then that should loosen this up so we can pull that out and get clear access to the fan itself. Next thing, we need to disconnect this harness as well as this cable from this assembly. So when we pull it out, we're not pulling that with it. So we'll unclip it there. We'll disconnect it here, and all you're going to do is push this little clip in right here, and then just pull it. Comes right out. Tuck that off to the side, and then now we'll pop it off here, and that way we have access to pull this, this shield off. Take a little screwdriver, put it in here, and all we're going to do is lift this little... Okay, that's off. Now we can grab this and just pull it out of there. That'll free up that shield. Let's head underneath because now what you have is there's two cooler lines that are actually clipped on to this plastic piece so you don't want to be yanking that up with those connected so let's head underneath pop those off and then we can work this off coming underneath here's the fan this is that shroud right here that that plastic shield so if we work our way here on the other side of this hose 
you'll see the two lines that are clipped in there. So all that I'm going to do is just come up here and just pop them up a little bit just to get them off those clips. Let's see. Let me put the camera down because I need both hands. All right. So I have them out. So let's, here we go. We're going to have to remove this hose from the uh, radiator. Pull that off. Yeah, a little bit of coolant. I'm going to have to put a pan under there. Pull this off. And we have a bucket underneath. And I was trying to avoid this because anytime you mess with your coolant system, like we're doing here, once we're done with this, we connect everything back. Then we got to burp it to get any air out of it and top off any coolant. Otherwise, you can have overheating issues. So make sure if you're having to remove yours as well, you're going to have to burp the air out of it when you're done. If you want to see a video I did how to do that using a spill-free funnel, you can check it out via the link above. I'll also have it down in the description. But it's extremely important you do that so you don't have overheating issues with air in the system. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and unscrew the fan clutch. That's a 36 millimeter wrench is what you're going to need. What I'm using here is a just a large 24 inch adjustable wrench. Either one will work. Now, some people use the, flan, uh, the fan clutch tool with an air hammer. You can use that to get it off. Some people, you know, wrap wire or whatever around the, the actual pulley that the fan clutch is screwed into. What I'm doing, I'm just using a six inch C-clamp and just tightening it down around the pulley and the belt to hold it still and then putting it on there using a three pound mallet and giving it a good whack to kind of break it free and then it'll come right off. It's pretty easy, but I'll get a close up so you can see what I, the kind of the setup I have and then we'll go ahead and get this thing loosened so we can undo the fan from that pulley and this whole assembly will then slide out and we'll have this fan out of here. Looking in here, here's our belt, our serpentine belt right here. This is our guide pulley. This is our tensioner pulley back here. That's for changing the belt. That's for another video. But I have the six inch C clamp. You can see how I have it pinned down right here on the belt. Let's see if I can get a shot of it back there. But it's pretty much wrapping around the bottom of the pulley. This here is the 36 millimeter. This is for the fan clutch. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and put the wrench around. And then this right here will hold it steady. Otherwise this is gonna rotate. We'll give it a good whack, that'll break it free, and then we can get that off. Get a nice good fit on it. Hold it steady. We'll take the three pound mallet, give it a good whack. There we go. Loosened it, broke it free. Nice and loose. You can see the pulley's not moving. So if we take this off, we should be able to just get down in here with our hand. There it is. It's rotating it. I'm going to go ahead and spin this off. And then once we get it off that pulley, we can pull the whole assembly out. coming off and I can actually we'll remove the C-clamp get it out of the way it's gonna start to hit this this uh, shroud or covering but you can just keep working it through I need to get it off of there Okay, it is off. Now this should all come up. You're going to have to work it around this radiator piece here that's sticking out. So just be patient. 
it's going to require some finagling, but then once you get past that hurdle, you're pretty much clear to pull the whole thing out. Raise it up. Slowly, the whole thing comes right out. And this is your whole fan assembly right here. So you have the shroud or cover. Here's your fan. This is your clutch right here, which you can see on this side. And depending on what kind of work you're doing, you would need all this out to do it. But this wraps up this video on how to remove the whole radiator cooling fan from a Chevy Trailblazer or the 5.3 liter V8. I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with any projects you're working on. Please send me any questions, comments. I would love to hear from you. I have tons of videos pertaining to this engine and this vehicle down in the description if you want to see other things that I'm doing to it. I'd appreciate the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.